Every Pokemon has at least one ability since the third generation. These Pokemon abilities are usually meant to help out the Pokemon in some sort of strategic way, however, this isn't always the case. Many Pokemon have abilities that are just plain pointless. My name is the Beast Pokeballer, and today guys, I will be counting down the top 5 Pokemon with useless abilities. Now a few quick things before I jump straight into this. First off, I've decided not to include abilities such as Pick Up and Illuminate that have no effect in battle that are just used for other purposes. Secondly, this is just my opinion, none of the Pokemon I'm going to mention are bad at all. They just have a bad ability. And with that out of the way guys, let's hop straight into it. Venusaur Meganium Subtile Torterra Superior Chestnut Overgrow Charizard Typhlosion Blaziken Infernape and Bordel Fox Blaze Blastoise for Alligator Swampert and Polyon Samurai Greninja Torrent. When does it end? I understand that all of these Pokemon have hidden abilities that make them a ton better, like Greninja with Protean, but these abilities give such little assist when you're playing through the game. What they do is that they boost the power of their typing, Overgrow for Grass, Blaze for Fire, and Torrent for Water, by 1.5 times the original damage if the user is at less or equal than one third of its total HP. In theory, the ability isn't too bad. Not very useful, but not awful in any way. It's just the fact that every starter Pokemon ever gets one of these three abilities. So we're just forced to keep them until we're finally able to swap out our original starter with one that possesses its hidden ability instead. Here we have one of the Pokemon fanbase's least favorite abilities. That being Slow Start. Slow Start is the only ability that Regigigas can have, and it is meant to balance him so that he isn't too overpowered. It cuts Regigigas' attack and speed stat in half for the first 5 turns that Regigigas is in battle. Now, let's take a look at Regigigas' stats. Pretty nice, okay speed, and very nice attack stat. But, when you compare this to other legendary Pokemon, this isn't anything too special. So, why tie Regigigas down in chains and make him so unusable? Yes, his defenses are good, but are they really enough to outlast 5 whole turns when you have no offensive power? Not to mention that Regigigas isn't even able to learn Protect to drag out those 5 evil turns. Oh, and here's the best part. You've waited 5 turns and your Regigigas can finally turn into a total monster on the battlefield? Well, better hope you aren't put into position where you have to switch out, otherwise you'll have to wait 5 more turns when you bring Regigigas out again. Look at all the amazing types in the game, all with super effective hits on other types to provide us with a unique and strategical way to outplay our opponents. Water is super effective against fire, dark is super effective against psychic, and normal is super effective against... Oh wait. Normal attacks have no advantage over other types in the game. So, if that's the case, why would you ever want an ability that turns every single attack into a normal type move? Well, that is just what the ability Normalize does. Delicati and Skitty are the only Pokemon to have access to this ability as of Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, and let's hope it stays that way. Delicati and Skitty already aren't the most impressive Pokemon as it is, but they have some nice type coverages with moves such as Sucker Punch, Zen Headbutt, and Wild Charge. And with an attack stat of base 65, you're gonna need some super effective hits. But no, Normalize curses them to lose all that coverage. Now, Normalize does give Delcaddy and Skitty the same type attack bonus or stab since they are normal types, but it really isn't needed even with the stronger moves such as Wild Charge when Delcaddy has access to very strong moves like Double Edge, which already gets stabbed. This ability was clearly meant to be helpful, but it just turned out to make Delcaddy and Skitty that much more useless. Alrighty, so we're at the runner-up spot. This is the ability that I first thought of when I decided to make this top 5, however it fell to the number 2 spot after some more consideration. So, someone tell me. Why does Pyroar have Moxie? Moxie gives a Pokemon a 1 stage boost in attack after it has taken down another Pokemon with an attacking move. Moxie is a very good ability. Pokemon like Gyarados and Honchkrow really benefit from getting an attack boost since they're physical attackers. But have you ever seen Pyroar's base stats before? It was clearly built to be a fast special sweeper Pokemon. There is no reason to ever run a physical Pyroar. 68 base attack? That is terrible. To put that into some perspective, Paris, yes Paris, the ugly ass bug, has an attack stat of base 70. Pokemon were given hidden abilities to help them out, not for no reason. An ability can completely change how good a Pokemon performs in battle. For example, Crawdont was hardly ever seen in the competitive scene of Pokemon, but then it got its hidden ability, Adaptability, and now it's one of the best water types out there. What makes it even worse is that Pyroar's two standard abilities, Unnerve and Rivalry, while not totally terrible, are still very lackluster. So, we've made it to the number one spot finally, and what Pokemon could have the most useless ability? Well, hmm, 
Let's see. Oh look! Levitate! Such a good ability. Pokemon like Latios, Flygon, and a ton more lose their vulnerability to ground type attacks because of it. Whoa! Rotom forms get levitate? Well, since they're all electric types, this will surely help them defensively, right? Wait a second. Rotom fan is a flying type? And flying types are immune to ground types as it is? Well, surely Game Freak realized this and swapped levitate for a different ability. Right? I'm so dumb. So, I'm so dumb. I'm so done with this stupid game! And that's gonna be the video guys. I hope you all enjoyed seeing what Pokemon have the worst abilities in my opinion. Remember to leave the abilities that you think are bad in the comment section below. So if you think Psyking's ability Truant, which just missed placing on the list, is the worst out there, be sure to tell me below. Thank you all for 3k subscribers and as always, let the outro roll!